What is up guys? It is Jack and today I can't wait to make this video for you guys. I have the very new Spider-Man Homecoming set, Beware the Vulture. It is at 76083. It is 375 pieces and ages 7 to 14. I can't wait to unbox this because it has Vulture, Spider-Man, Shot the Shocker, and Iron Man, his new Mark 47 suit. I just seen the video, or the movie, sorry guys, the movie about a week ago. And that made me want to buy the set even more. So I could build it and make a video off of it for you guys. As you can see, the main build is the white van and Vulture's wings. Look at the back, it has all the action scenes with the uh, crystals. I won't spoil anything for you guys if you haven't seen that yet. And then Iron Man again, all the characters. And the white van will open when Spider-Man and Iron Man come attack, and the can will, uh, what's the word, uh, burst out of the van and start shooting. It can't move, well, I don't think it can, like, twi uh, twizzle around, sorry for that glare. And then, uh, you, you have Spider-Man shooting his web at Shocker, and Vulture trying to fly away, but he's stuck to the web. I won't take any longer, first of all, he has all the other stuff down there. As I said, it won't, I won't take any longer, so you guys can watch me build this set, and I can show you it after. See you soon. done that took about an hour to build I haven't gotten too much sleep so I was a little tired and well you are looking at the finished product product right here it is a great set the price $40 I don't think we'll cut it. I think 30 to 35 
would be a better price. Um, but the minifigures are awesome. They're all exclusive to the set except for Spider-Man. He comes in the other Spider-Man Homecoming set. But the Spider-Man is exclusive to the Homecoming series. We will start out with um, the main character, Spider-Man, which is Peter Parker. Um, as you guys probably all know. Zoom in here. Sorry for that jerk. Wait for that to uh, get... Sorry about that. So there, here he is. Peter Parker. Right here. He has... I'm going to take these webs off right now. You guys can see him better. He is, he is kind of like the Captain America Civil War Spider-Man, but he has a, some different printing on his arms and his uh, torso. His head's the same. His torso, let's see if that'll focus. It's a little different than the Captain America Civil War. I really wish I had one of them with me right now, but it is actually different in the... Captain America Civil War one. And the dual mode legs are always the best with the boot prints. Back's normal. This is a little different than the um, Captain America Civil War one. It has the Captain America Civil War one. There aren't, there's not that line in, inside the spider. It is just all red. And if you can see the black marks, I don't think those are there in the Captain America Civil War one. And here is the arm. The Captain America Civil War Spider-Man didn't have the, that black line on it. It had everything else, I think. It would be a lot easier if I had the Captain America Civil War one, War one with me right now. And that is Spider-Man. Before I stop with him, comes with these little web slingers. Let me see if it'll work. Got to end it up right there. I don't really think it's a re it has a really good aim, but so I kind of like him how they gave three actually. And then before I leave him, they, he came with a web. Yeah, I think most of you guys have seen the web rope and a little iPhone. Take too long to focus. So we'll put him aside. And we will go on to Iron Man. Get that to focus real quick. Here we go. The same helmet as the Avengers Age of Ultron and the Captain America Civil War one. You're just the regular blue transparent studs. And then these boosters. As you take, I'm going to say that for last, but he has silver. This is the silver Mark, 8, Mark 47. I like this one like a lot. It's my like eighth Iron Man in Lego. You can see it has the silver and it kind of has the Captain America Civil War uh, center uh, laser zap thing, and then uh, the silver plating. And yeah, there are no dual molded legs, sadly. And then the torso on the back. No printing on the arms again, sadly. Here we go. Moment of truth. Transparent blue head. I'm not going to spoil anything if you guys haven't seen the video. But, yeah. Transparent blue head. No. I don't agree with that. On to the Shocker. One of my favorite villains in the movie. As you can tell, these things will or are his Shockers. In the movie, there are only one. If you guys have seen in the commercial, so I don't know really. I really don't know why they put two. And then uh, I'll move both of those aside. He has on his torso very nice jacket printing with the red uh, shirt under it. The zippers all the way over here in the pockets on the side, which I really like a lot. And then the hoodies back here with the rest of the jacket and then some knitting right there. This guy has printing on the sides, which I really like. I think his are the exact same print as... Never mind. I had the pencil guy right next to me. It doesn't, it's not the same. But yeah, the jacket printing. 
I really like. And his face is just a uh, plain old Force Awakens Star Wars trooper set head. On to my favorite villain in this set and the movie. The Vulture. Very nice printing for that helmet. I really like it. You see the green eyes like that. And then you can breathe in with those. And then he has two guns on the side. A jacket. And his wings are really cool. I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys if you guys haven't seen the movie. But yeah, I'm going to have to zoom out for him. He's so big. The wings. And he can come off like this. Just take him off. Is that clear thing on the side. And as you see here, it's really nice how they did that. It has a rocket at the bottom and these two propeller thingies that they don't have the axle on the side, which I don't like. And then some stickers right on the side. And the main part of the build and the set is the white truck. The white van. All scraped up and dirty. Sorry for the camera moving, I bumped it. Here we go. On with the cockpit. Just the steering wheel and tan seating. Stickers are really nice on this. It's a broken uh, down bumper and the um, license plate ACJR10. And the lights, more uh, scruffed up part of the van. I think those are new uh, wheel axles, if I recall. I don't have any other sets with those. Same with the other side, some more scraping webbing from Spider-Man up here. Same with the windshield. There's one more spot right there. I like those new stickers. Here, and then a little sticker here. How's my how's my, my driving? It doesn't make sense. Call whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then shocking, he put something on there. Like a, He wrote shocking on there. So we open up. The whole thing comes out. And you have a blaster gun. So it goes like that. I will zoom out so it can you guys can see it shoot. And you just put it back down when you're done. I will take it out once more. So you guys can see what's under here. There are two crates. One is empty, nice sticker, right there, put that focus, there you go, DLDC, and then same thing, just a different sticker that says fragile, and it has a crystal in there, and then along with the rest of the truck, there are little two little handles here that hold a gun for the shocker. They come together like so. I'll grab the shocker. You can hold the gun in one hand. Sorry. Uh, I, I didn't really get that in really good. And then the ham or his uh, big fists along with it. Um, and back to the van. Oh, there's one of the crystals. They just lock with these hinges along there. Put these two barrels back in. And now they put them in nice and neat. I don't like, see it's all, it's a nice pretty white van. And this sticks out like that, showing too much gray. I wish this would have been white and that would have been white and would have stuck in. And you see orange, or sorry, yellow. When they should have been white instead. I'm not like that about this set. More yellow. Same on the other side. I'm going to take this off real quick. This is unbelievable. Red and blue. I never see that in white set or white build. I had so much fun, guys, building this set. And if you guys have or being able to watch me. Uh, again, it took it about an hour. I'm t a little tired. But I had so much fun. I bet you guys had a great time watching me build it. And don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down what your favorite part about this video was. Favorite character. And either you like the wings better or the van better. And uh, don't forget to watch our other videos. Some cool ones out there.
Check out our Nerf ones and all our others, my other Lego ones. And have a great night. And have a good rest of the week. See ya.